Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B and I'm here to do a message. I really don't have a title for the message. It's not a general collective energy message. What I'm really trying to uh, see is, you know, what this community of people basically are trying to do behind the scenes to come up against you. Um, and so, we're, yeah, we're just going to see what this community is, is, is trying to do. So I guess we're going to do a, what is the community trying to come up against you? message I guess <laughs> I don't know uh, I do cuss and I do tell the truth so if you don't like either one of the two then you probably should move on I've already prayed over the cards and the energy so we're just going to hop in and get this message so spirit when it comes to these people this this community uh, whatever these people whoever these people are um, what are they trying to do behind the scenes adjudication so for some of you they're trying to um, get you in some type of legal situation yeah they're trying to get you in some type of legal situation what else spirit There's a main male involved. That could be one of them that's standing in front of this judge. Or they could have gotten you involved in a legal situation somehow. Yeah, whoever this main male is, you know, you could have been dating this person. You could have courted this person. You could have been in some type of relationship with this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thief. So for some of you, you know, whoever these people are, they're in they're they're in court. Adjudication is like judgment. And I do feel like that um thirty could be significant, the number thirty. You know, these people could have thirty days to possibly submit something. They could have thirty days to do something, but I feel like that whoever these people are, it is this main male and it is a, a feminine energy that are going to be standing in front of the judge if they aren't already today. Whoever this main male is, you did have a relationship with this person. But I feel like that what's being discovered, what the judge is, is discovering is that somebody was stealing. And for some of you, whoever this, this the feminine energy is, the judge is looking at this feminine energy uh, some type of way. Um, I do feel like that whoever this uh, main male is, you were courting this person. Y'all were in some type of relationship. I do feel like that, you know, while you were dating this person, it was a protected relationship. But I feel like something took place and now it's not a protected relationship. And I feel like that whoever this main male is, they possibly started some type of spiritual warfare because that courtship card is a number four card. And so I do feel like that this main male possibly married that feminine energy and also was courting you. There was a, a guardian angel that was watching over the situation. And there was a, a theft in the past. And I do feel like that whoever this masculine energy is, they were trying to control this feminine energy and a child. Maybe they were trying to to stay attached or or this feminine energy was trying to stay attached to this masculine energy um, by basically stealing from you or the masculine has the judge has found out that this feminine energy was stealing from this masculine energy or was using this masculine energy to keep them stuck. But it looks like a theft. Hmm. I don't know y'all so basically because I asked spirit you know what are these these people this community the whatever whoever these people are what are they doing behind the scenes um, 
against you. Both of them are in and standing in front of the judge. And for some of you, whoever this masculine energy is, you know, they're realizing that being in a relationship with you, they were protected from this thief. And I feel like the judge is finding out that whoever this uh, feminine energy is, we're going to call them a third party. They possibly were stealing from this masculine and possibly you. But this masculine has something to do with them being able to steal from you. So, let's get it. Why is adjudication here? Drake. Do right and kill everything. So, whoever this masculine energy is, uh, what, what's probably going on um, in the courtroom right now. Wow. This is crazy. Is the masculine possibly is trying to do right. Um, I don't know why that didn't kill everything, but that's Drake's name. That's what it stands for. But I feel like that they possibly are trying to basically stand up for themselves. I do feel like whoever this masculine energy is, they are a ladies' man. But I do feel like that whoever this masculine energy is, whoever this third party is, they were watching. Look, what is wrong with that? That's like an entity. So for some of you, it's found out in court that um, this masculine, um, possibly a, a spell was done on this masculine. Mm -hmm. But I'm also getting to that whoever this um, judge is, I feel like that there is getting ready to be some type of restraining order because the card says do not disturb. Mm -hmm. do right and kill everything thank me later for some of you they're in court because somebody did pass away and it could have been so that these two people could live a luxury life the finer things October could be significant so the person that passed away could have been born in October Poppy is on the card Oh, okay, spirit. Okay, so y'all know how Drake, you know, was hiding the baby. I feel like whoever this feminine energy is was hiding a baby from this masculine energy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like whoever this masculine energy is realizes that they were in a protected relationship with you. But they, in the past, they possibly stole... You know, this feminine energy and the baby from this masculine energy. You know, possibly married this person or whatnot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And for some of you, because it says top five on the card, it might not even be the person, because I feel like that whoever this, uh, whoever this Drake person is, I feel like that. It's somebody that is either gone or no longer here. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that... Whoever this map... Because it says top five on the card. That's where I was going. Thank you, Spirit. It says top five on the card right there. And so the judge could be, you know, looking at this feminine energy. Mm -hmm. It's five books stacked up or five dockets or whatnot stacked up. And so for some of you, whoever this feminine energy is, the judge is questioning them like who's the father. And I feel like that uh, whoever this is, their ch this feminine energy is trying to say that this masculine energy is their, is the father of their child. But the judge doesn't believe this person. Why is main male here? Lauren Hill in the reverse. But we don't take these in reverse. Lauren Hill. For some of you, the, the judge knows that whoever this feminine energy is is lying.
for some of you, um, whoever this judge is, they feel like that this uh, third party has been miseducated. You know, like they lack knowledge. And the judge is finding out that this main male wanted this uh, feminine energy to be an X factor. So they wanted this feminine energy, you know, to, they wanted to leave this feminine energy. And I feel like the judge, you know, is basically questioning this feminine energy. Like, why are you still attached to this person? And this feminine energy probably is like, because it's the father of my child. But y'all see that there's two documents on the, the desk as well. And so I feel like that there's already been two paternity tests taking place. Um, whoever this Drake is, I feel like um, this is the person. This is the person that uh, well, they're in the top five, and then it's this main male. So it's possibly this Drake person on the document and the main male on the document as far as for the Dana. And I feel like that whoever this feminine energy is, they they know who the father of the child is and it's not this main male and it's killing them because they trying to you know basically blind people with the truth but it's not working you know they're trying to use every excuse with this refugee on the card to basically make the the judge look at them like you know they need the help they need support but it's only because the masculine wants to leave them. Courtship. And I do feel like the judge is not buying whatever this third party is selling. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, whoever this main male is, I do feel like that they do have a divine feminine, you know, that they possibly want to go towards. And I do feel like that, you know, this main male could have had a conversation with their divine feminine about this situation and I feel like that their divine feminine spoke the truth but this masculine felt like that the divine feminine didn't know what they were talking about because the, the masculine feels like that the divine feminine is just saying things because basically the masculine possibly left them refugee you know what I'm saying X factor and went towards whoever this is this third party and they're uh Divine Feminine was like, okay, everything is still everything. And so for some of you, you possibly could have started to date. Or you're going to. But it's because whoever this masculine energy is treated you like an outcast. And so because they feel like that you possibly are courting and get ready to get married. They possibly want to apologize now. They possibly want to grow up and be a big boy now. Possibly give you your, your roses. Because whatever you, whatever their divine feminine spoke to them about, it was true. And so now, because this masculine feels like that you're going to get into a relationship and possibly married. Now they want to be a duo. But this is the same person, you know, that, that basically deemed the divine feminine as a black sheep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is this thief here? Back to the future. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they outcasted the divine feminine because they went back to a past person. And now this mask, and now something took place. Now they're feeling like that this third party, the person that they went back towards, possibly stole something from them. Or they feel like, or this masculine feels like that there's a past person from their divine feminine's life that's getting ready to steal their divine feminine and their, fa and, and their kids or whatever from them. And so whoever this masculine energy is, they, 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 they regret going back to the future. They regret dealing with this past person. Um, because they're dealing with a DNA issue. They're dealing with a legal issue concerning other people. And I feel like they wish that they could either fast forward time or go back in time. Because, yeah, they've discovered something. Great Scott. They've discovered something. For some of you, they, they, they realize that it's destiny with this courtship and the uh, four. Yeah, but they treated you like an outcast. And for some of you, you possibly haven't started something new. They want to start something new with you. 
because they know it's destiny now. But McFly didn't listen. Divine timing is at play. Mm-hmm. Judication and Drake. Yep, and them in this judication, this legal situation, trying to figure out who the father is. Yeah, it's this masculine's worst nightmare. They're having bad dreams, you know. Um, they're having sleepless nights for some of you. Um, wow. Wow. Mm -mm. <sighs> for some of you these people are in court because of child neglect somebody did something to a child and 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 the and the judge is trying to figure out if this masculine needs to be a registered offender so for some of you it's about you know who the father of the child is but for others or it could be both who the father of a child and who touched the child in a in a in appropriate way with that registered offender here Whoever this masculine energy is, they know that they're hell bound, and 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 they're all up in their head because they they wish that they would have listened to their divine feminine. Whatever their divine feminine spoke about, they feel like that they should have listened. Main male Lauren Hill, but this whole legal situation is the worst nightmare of this masculine right now. Yeah, they wish they would have listened to their. Um, divine feminine and just came to America you know put on their crown and, and move forward they wish they would have married their divine feminine instead of the third party if that's the case or you know they just should have yeah married you even if they didn't marry the third party they wish they should have married you you know they were you know basically people pleasing you know whoever this is they they feel like that their divine feminine has a great life. Their divine feminine possibly goes overseas, um, you know, or has been overseas or works overseas or, you know, travels overseas. But they know that their divine feminine has a lot of wealth. Not rich, wealth. It's a difference. And now they want that now. But they were sowing their oats, um, thinking that they were going to build an empire, that they were going to build generational wealth. Mm hmm. And now they're realizing, now they're discovering that they shouldn't have outcasted their divine feminine. You know, they, they realize that they love their divine feminine now, but they outcasted her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris Brown at the bottom of the deck. Now they want to change because they realize the grass wasn't greener over there with the third party. Mm -hmm. They realize that these hoes ain't loyal. They were with whoever this third party is for loyalty. I mean royalty, excuse me. Courtship and outcast. Mm -hmm. Yep, and they outcasted their divine feminine, a protected relationship, a, 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 a relationship that was deemed divine for some for somebody from their past. You know, like somebody that they grew up with, the breakfast club, somebody, you know, that they possibly got in trouble with. You know, that they looked at like a princess, you know, um, but they or just a lot of people, you know, that they grew up with, period, family, friends, whatever. But they realize that the person that they outcasted their divine feminine for is not a friend. They're a basket case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's because they stole something. Or it's because this third party went back to a past person and possibly got pregnant thief back to the future goonies the goonies yeah divine timing is at play and whoever this is they are realizing somebody stole something from their divine feminine somebody stole something from this masculine too possibly the same person but they realize that them going back to the future back to this past person they were booby trapped mm -hmm. thief was right here on the card yeah whoever this masculine energy is they're lost right now yeah and there's a lot of moving pieces going on community is here so it was a whole group of people that were involved 
possibly trying to find where the divine feminine is to possibly you know take something from the divine feminine but there were obstacles put pl put in place mm -hmm. because divine feminine is hidden mm -hmm. divine feminine is a jewel she's a hidden treasure so they couldn't find it but they they were looking for divine feminine yep and the masculine feels like that they shot themselves in the face bang Judication Drake Nightmare on Elm Street mm -hmm. It's the worst nightmare Because whoever this third party is She crazy She live a crazy life And the masculine You know They realize that They should have expected better And I feel like That their divine feminine Told them You know Expect better for yourself mm -hmm. Yep On the card Look Pregnancy. Mm hmm Yeah. And there's a people around um, this feminine energy. They possibly are family members of this masculine because it says girl code. And so for some of you, um, divine feminine's family members, they know about the situation with the child, with the pregnancy. Mm-hmm. And for some of you, these people are part of an organized crime. But for some of you, um, I feel like that because Divine Feminine is quiet as a mouse. Y'all see quiet as a mouse. They're going to try to say that Divine Feminine is in a, some part of an organized crime. Look, all I know. Yeah, so whoever this is, you know, they don't know nothing. Remember, miseducation. They want to play dumb. Now they want to get up in court and say, all I know. Nah, player. It ain't how it works. It ain't how it worked. And that's why the judge is looking at her like, you must think I'm dumb, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. American History X. All I know is she need to go to jail or he need to go to jail. All I know is, no. Uh-uh. All I know is you possibly about to go to jail, ma'am or sir. May Mel, Lauren Hill, coming to America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whoever this masculine energy is, they do love their divine feminine. They love everything about her. Whoever this divine feminine is, she she possibly has a taboo job, but she is the band. You know what I'm saying? One man band. Yeah. This divine masculine, they know that you know their divine feminine. They don't have an ordinary love. But I feel like whoever this ma uh, masculine energy is, they were out there sowing their royal oats. And their divine feminine kept moving forward. The divine feminine is the leader. The same one that they outcasted. So how you outcast the leader, you know what I'm saying, of the divine, you know what I'm saying, of the light. The, the one that can help you, you know what I'm saying, to heal. The one that can help you to get up out of, you know, your, your troubles and your sorrow. Yeah, they outcasted the wrong one. Mm -hmm. For a past person, for a basket case, for a Judas, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Courtship, outcast, breakfast club. And not only is it divine feminine, you know, she came back out. Yeah, I'm going to say, divine feminine has that Erica Badu intuition. That Baduism, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, divine feminine, yeah, she tr she used tr trusted her intuition mm -hmm. about the reason why this masculine outcasted this protected relationship, this divine counterpart relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so whoever this is, this divine feminine, they're not communicating with this masculine because they feel like. It's just on and on. Keep going on through this karmic cycle over and over. Yeah. And whoever this divine feminine is, she's only carrying her baggage. She's not carrying other people's baggage. And so I feel like that this divine feminine, yeah, they see things coming a mile away. And so divine feminine basically was like, yeah, no, go. You can go. Divine feminine has made a 360 change. And this is who divine masculine deems as a love of his life.
but he went back to the future to a past person mm -hmm. and got lost got trapped thief back to the future the goonies yeah got trapped Britney Spears Yep. And they're in the past. The, there was a, a theft. I feel like that this past person feels like that. Uh, I mean, this masculine feels like that, you know, they did allow this past person to steal them from their divine counterpart. And they got trapped with the crazy person. And whoever this third party is, they're pushed to the edge. And it's because of, of this divine feminine's intuition. Mm -hmm. They're going through some type of mental breakdown. Their life is a circus right now. Me Vita Loca. Thank you, Spirit. Yep. What I say, bad boys. All I know is, yeah, all you know is you about to go to jail, honey. But they did. I feel like that whoever this third party is, yeah. They done got law enforcement involved. For some of you, um, uh, this masculine's brother is, is talking to the police. Mm -hmm. and, but I feel like that this third party they have, they've, they've gotten um, the police involved with divine feminine because of this masculine energy. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that th this third party got the police involved on this masculine, but they implicated divine feminine in it. Mm -hmm. Yep, divine masculine at the bottom of the deck. Sade. And so, yeah, with that being said, um, they are in court, right? This masculine, all they can think about is this relationship that they have with their divine feminine. But the past person stole them away. Or a past person, or they went back to a past person. And they were being a ladies' man, you know, they were doing the most. And you feel me, basically, their divine feminine told them they need to stop their, their, bull, their BS and they didn't listen. Um, and they basically outcasted their divine feminine. And they went back to the future, going back to old ways and yada yada and blase blase. Yeah, it's been a nightmare. And now they want to come to America. Now they want to, you know, operate, you know, in a high vibing situation because of this past person trying to get them trapped. To, to basically stay living in a crazy life. When they have a divine feminine that they want to go towards. And not only does the divine feminine that they want to go towards have no ordinary love but she's also tapped in to God and so with that being said this divine feminine she trusts our intuition and I feel like that um, these people they're gonna they're they're trying to say that this divine feminine is crazy to get the uh, police involved but guess what the police see that shine bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond yeah and when I say these people the third party yeah because they're trying to get revenge Erica Badu. But whoever this divine feminine is, she already knew what was going to take place. I can't make it up. And she fell on top of Erica Badu. There she go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. They found out that she is divine feminine. The police even found out. They like, what is she talking about? So I feel like that's why they're in court right now. Because all of the lies and they're looking direct the judge is looking directly at that third party like you are lying. Mm hmm. Britney Spears. <laughs> Because of your intuition, because of you know your your tapped in with God, they said you was crazy and trying to get the police on you. Mm -hmm. Friday, Friday after next, yeah. 
They possibly said you you crazy and you smoke weed. So they smoke weed too. But I feel like that they were trying to get you fired. They were trying to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for some of you, they were. Whatever your job is, they were trying to get you fired. But I do feel like, yeah, they were trying to do everything. And if the police, the police possibly, probably do know you smoke weed, depending on which state you in, it don't matter. And technically, it really don't matter anymore. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, by a certain time, possibly 20, 24, 25, 26, all, it's going to be legal everywhere. They can't, you know what I'm saying? So the police is like, okay, whatever. But I see her, you know what I'm saying, building her brand, doing, you know, making her life better. So what if she smoke a little bit of weed? She got PTSD. You know what I'm saying? She got a little anxiety. That's what it's for. Bad boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were trying to yeah, to get you fired. Poetic justice in reverse. Yeah, they don't want you to, you know, be with this masculine. They don't want this masculine to love you. They don't want this masculine to be attracted to you. But I feel like that, yeah, they were trying to get you to hurt. They were trying to get this uh, divine feminine, but it ain't going to work. The boy, the, the, the police don't see nothing wrong. And I feel like that they were going to come after this divine feminine, but they realized that for what? For what? Mm-hmm. And for some of you, You possibly are were supposed to be receiving some type of letter or something in the mail from the law enforcement, but it's in the reverse. We don't take these in reverse, though, but I'm going to put it up right. But, yeah, I feel like that, yeah, they were trying to get the police to look at you for who you weren't. But, again, the judge is looking at this third party like, girl, or boy, you talking about them, honey. Look at how, look at all this I got stacked up against you and you, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. And for some of you, um, your neighbors could have tried, could have said that you, you know, would be smoking and stuff. Oh, well. Rihanna. Yep, NWA. But your spirit guides are here. And they ruthless. They ninjas with attitudes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And so, if these people want to stir up controversy, then let's go. Is what your spirit guy said. And they don't have no parental discretion. They don't care who it is. Anybody can get it. Including, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like whoever this uh, third party is, they were. They were trying to uh, define feminine. They were trying to send people after divine feminine. The police didn't work, so then they try to send people, you know, dudes. <laughs> but yeah, it was found out. If the police, you know, if they told the police that you smoke weed, it was fa the police found out that, yeah, uh, you know, poetic justice, though, it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? It's just like. Whoever these, whoever the, the law enforcement are, they know who you are, or they know the type of life that you've lived. You know, you could have grew up too fast. You know, you could have had a lot of toxic family and friends. You know, a lot of hurt and pain and, and trauma and stuff like that. So the police, that's what they see. So they were like miseducated. Somebody was miseducated. I feel like the the masculine energy is the one that told all the 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 the, the, the lies, and I feel like that the third party just regurgitated them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, your spirit guides are here. Tombstone is in the reverse. Yeah, 
And so, yeah, it, there ain't going to be no showdown. There ain't going to be no body and clad. There ain't going to be no disruption. Ain't nobody Divine Feminine's rival. You know what I mean? You ain't going to catch Divine Feminine at no hotel, no casino, or no bar. If you if, if, if she's at a casino, hotel, or a bar, it's going to be one of the finest. Y'all can't get in. How you ain't hating outside of the club and you can't get in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Legend don't have nothing. They know the truth about Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine ain't changing location. She not corrupt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're going to put in an upright. Yeah. But these people, yeah, they did. They either try to send a lot of people to cause a showdown with Divine Feminine or, or and uh, the spirit guides and ancestors stepped in and basically said, okay. You want to, okay, you want to end her? You're going to have to go through us. Mm hmm Yep. Friday. Nipsey Hussle, so yeah. Yep. Whoever this is. This third party, they want a showdown because of this uh, masculine energy. The masculine knows that you are their divine counterpart. And they do want to change. They do want to marry you and build a, sol a solid foundation with you. They want to do the right thing. But they're scared because of this karmic relationship that they were in. They they called you a, a thought, a prostitute. And then they also tried to kill you. End you, excuse me. But God, the great I am. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then on top of that, whoever this is, uh, their family members, all these family members, yeah, they were, they, they told all these people that, you know what I'm saying, like you, it says sex on the card between the sheets, they said that you were having sex for money, they said that you were possibly selling drugs with the training day here, set up, Rico, yeah, they were trying to Selena you. Mm-hmm. And the masculine is going through the dark night of the soul because they're the ones that are doing the organized crime. Remember? Organized crime? Yeah. So the third party and the masculine are a part of the organized crime. The masculine think they're the godfather, don't they? They want to communicate because they know it's about to go down. Mm -hmm. And they are indulging in toxic substances with that nirvana here. Mm hmm. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Adjudication and Drake. Yep. Lies and gossip, but the truth will be revealed. The judge is right there, so they ain't got no choice. If they can lie all day, it don't matter. But they are. Whoever this third party is, they are. They're lying to the judge about who the father of the child is. They're lying to the judge about every single thing. The masculine is lying too, but this third party, they're, they're lying. And this masculine energy, yes, they married this person because of blackmail. And for some of you, that's what the judge is talking to that third party about. About a baby that possibly is not this masculine. And they basically manipulated the masculine to believe that the um, third party, uh, I mean that the masculine was the father. Mm -hmm. And the masculine actually did marry this person instead of their divine feminine because basically they feel like that they were blackmailed into marriage when they already had a protected situation with their divine feminine. Yeah, and so they outcasted their divine feminine because the third party was lying to them about their divine feminine. Yep. 
they who whoever this uh, third party is, they 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 uh, told the masculine that the divine feminine went back to a past person and got some type of STD. Mm -hmm. And so that's what's being asked about in the court as well. Yeah, they're under judgment. Both of them. Yeah. And for some of you, this masculine, they went, the third party is lying on you saying that you stole, um, basically telling the judge that you stole the masculine from them and their family and you gave them an STD. But in reality, the judge is looking at them like, nah, I don't believe you for a second. For some of you, they're arguing back and forth. The judge has already ruled you out. And the judge is looking at the third party like, now where did you really get the STD? You know, top five, we're ruling them out. Okay, number five, it's over. Okay, we only got four to go. And whoever this third party is, they can't stay. And on top of it, the masculine feels like that they have a STD. The masculine knows that they didn't get it from you. They know that the third party is lying. They know now. Mm -hmm. And it's their worst nightmare. This toxic karmic energy is their worst nightmare. Yep. And they realize that they should have married you instead of this third party. The judge is realizing the reason why this masculine married this person. That's why the judge is so adamant on eating this third party alive. Yeah, but they wish they should have married you because they know that blessings are coming your way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they know whoever the all these people are, this 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 community of people. They know that these people aren't for them. Mm -hmm. Most of these people are basket cases, and so yeah, they're running back to you. They did try to booby trap you. They did. They did conspire to help or something like that. Mm hmm. And I feel like that they do want to change, but they're scared because they know a part of the change is that they have to admit what they did to you. And they're scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They know you expect better and they try to make you live a uh, mi vida loca, a crazy life. You know what I mean? And they know they cause a lot of heartbreak. Yeah. You are the leader. You don't have no ordinary love. You are the band. So, like, you're very reserved. You know what I mean? You're very contemporary. You exemplify natural beauty. You know, you speak everything from the soul. You operate at, you know what I'm saying, out of high, high, you operate at a high frequency. You could look younger than, than, than your age. But, yeah, they put family members against you as well. Mm -hmm. But you already knew that, though, Erica Badu. Mm -hmm. Erica Badu Erica Badu, please spirit Stuck on something that you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could have told them that oh uh, girl is crazy. Oh girl, she gonna go off. Oh girl, gonna go off. Mm -hmm. You could have told them she 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 back crazy. But I feel like that the third party tried to say that divine feminine was crazy. Why is Britney Spears here? Yeah, they they they're stuck on something you said because you 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 use your spiritual gifts, but they try to say that you was crazy because you spoke the truth. And they probably like, well, how does she know? Britney Spears, please, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're stuck on something you said. Yeah, the, the third party, the Carmen, she crazy. She crazy. Yeah. 
And so, yeah, they're getting a divorce from this person. They try to say you crazy, but you, your true colors always show because you're divine feminine, so you have nothing to hide. And you don't have to, nothing to be, uh, you know, going off the deep end about. All you got to do is go to your secret place and, and, and consult with your advisors, your spiritual advisors. But yeah, whoever this is, they crazy. They crazy. And they are. They're getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for some of you, um, whoever this third party is, they did. They call, try to call somebody bad physical health. Possibly the masculine energy. Oh, you. Because right after it came to inflame soulmate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but the police know about it. The police know about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Divine Feminine with her, with her sexy self. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You kept it real. And that's why they being mad. Mm -hmm. So whatever you, whatever this masculine is stuck on, whatever you said. Yeah, you kept it real. And they being mad. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. Um, the judge, they know that all the, most of the lies and gossip was from this toxic karmic energy. And they know that, you know, they basically are heartbroken because they chose to live a crazy life. And and they and and it's be and it's being found out that this third party is crazy. The judge is looking at her like you are bat shit crazy, and I feel like the the divorce is coming straight from the judge because for some of you, um, for some of you, this this karmic. They possibly did try to do something, put something in this masculine's food and everything else with this bad physical health. Mm hmm But, yeah, they try to get, yeah, you kept the real and they big mad. And then on top of that, they did try to get you fired. So, for some of you, if they know where you work, they try to get you fired so that you could take a material loss. But that ain't gonna happen. Mm-hmm. While you remain focused, you know, in your poetic justice energy. They, yeah, they were on this toxic tour. Look, 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 I can't make it up. I can't make it up. So, yeah, okay, y'all. So, we have all these men's, right? Two, four, five, right? We said top five in the beginning, right? We counted the five books, the five documents. What came out next? Pregnancy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yeah, whoever this is. This third party, yeah, they don't know who the father of their child is. And the judge is looking at her like, I can't believe, I can't believe, this is a mess. This is a mess. Yeah. And yeah, there is a showdown. And I feel like this masculine energy, they feel stupid because they have their divine feminine in the middle of it. And divine feminine don't got nothing to do with it. But there is a showdown. Mm hmm And I feel like whoever this masculine energy is, they now want to change location because... There's a lot of people who's trying to end this masculine. Mm -hmm. Because they were focused on the wrong things. Ooh we Rest in peace. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. Whew. And for some of you, this 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 divine masculine here. Is it about masculine? Yeah, that's already gone. And so, uh, there was, yeah. For some of you, um, the father of the child is already gone. And it was a divine masculine. But I do feel like that <laughs> there's a lot of people that want to take this masculine out. Mm hmm. Because I feel like whoever this uh, masculine energy is. They 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 said some choice words to a lot of people that didn't you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna play this game. Wow. Wow. We gotta keep going, y'all. Why is this lies and gossip here, spirit? Oh, 
So whoever this is that died, um, I think the judge, yeah, because it's two papers, like I said. I, I was thinking it was Drake, uh, do right and kill everything. So that's, yeah, oh, no, spirit. It is two masculines on the desk, on the, the desk of the, the judge. One of them is already gone, rest in peace. And the other one is right, right there, main male. Well, I feel like it's not the main males. But I feel like that whoever this uh, ma divine masculine is, the father of the child, because that's what I believe. Um, or if it's not him, uh, that they thought it was him too. Maybe that's what the third party said, you know. But I feel like it was just to get some type of money from a legal situation. So they could have had um, life insurance, you know, on this person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so with that being said, if they thought that they were going to get money from a legal situation or this, this life insurance or whatever, ha ha ha, joke's on them. Because how are you going to get some money from from uh, somebody's from somebody's passing if you don't have, you know what I'm saying? You don't have a child, they're not the father. You got four other, three other people. You know what I mean? And so I feel like that they did. They used this person's passing and they used this person to basically say that they were pregnant or they had a baby by this person just so they can get the money from a life insurance. But Spirit says, ha, ha, ha. Joke's on them. Yeah. They celebrated too soon. Third party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I feel like it was found out that the, the third party had an STD. Yep. Why is the STD here? But for some of you, this masculine wants, yeah. This masculine wants a reunion with their divine feminine. But this past person the third party had a STD and the masculine feels like they have it because it says STD and then toxic karmic energy mm -hmm. why is this STD here spirit yep yep it ain't you why would it be you <laughs> yeah their life is a circus right now. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, and and, and, and and this third party, this karmic, is this masculine's worst nightmare. And now this masculine there they, they want to come to the real world now. Because they see that blessings are coming your way. And yeah, they were being stubborn. They were being stubborn. And they were being a pleasure seeker. They were, you know what I'm saying, addicted to money, pretty much. Mm -hmm. they are running back to you because they feel like that this third party broke their trust but this masculine broke, broke your trust mm -hmm. they want to change but they're scared They want to change, but they're scared spirit. Mm -hmm. Yep, they broke your trust by, by, by saying that you were a thought for one. So yeah, they could have said that you had an SED. Really? Why is heartbreak here? They out there doing the most. He out there being a ladies boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Woo-woo, yada yada. 
Yeah. And they broke, yeah, they broke the trust by saying that you were thought. And they know that they caused heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to get you to, to basically stay, uh, uh, live in a toxic life. You don't live a toxic life. I don't feel like you've lived a toxic life for a very long time. Yeah, and so because they caused this heartbreak, because they caused you a thought, because they possibly said you were uh, STD, had an STD, they don't know if you love them anymore. And then on top of that, they pit family members against you. So yeah, because they don't know if you love them anymore, they are. They're indulging in toxic substances because they're stuck on something that you said. And it has some it's Sagittarius energy. You could have it in your chart or be a Sagittarius, but it's something about your spirituality. They are getting a divorce, um, but they did think of thought that this uh, was going to bring some wish fulfillment that money from a legal situation it didn't yeah and I feel like yeah um, somebody did try to try to possibly hurt divine feminine yeah and for some of you whatever this bad physical health is uh, the police are involved but I feel like that yeah this masculine they know that they were misled they know that you're their, their divine counterpart. For some of you, this masculine, you know, was going to allow this third, or or they didn't know that this third party was planning to to assault you. The police know now. Mm -hmm. And they were being misled. They're dreaming about you. This masculine is. Mm -hmm. You kept it real and they're being mad. But they are still hiding something from you. It's the fact that they were trying to get you fired to take a material loss. Yeah, because the love of money is the root of all evil. Yep. And so it's poetic justice because this masculine they chose to be on this toxic tour. And DNA has determined that, like, for other people is the father. Pregnancy. Yep. Attitude determines altitude. So yeah, uh, whoever this third party is, they ain't going very far because their attitude sucks. And so yeah, they're not going to get very far. Focus on the wrong things. And I feel like that uh, your spirit guides are, are, are still standing. <laughs> they're still in the building. Even though technically Divine Feminine, you don't have anything to do with it. Your divine, your um, counter, I mean, excuse me, your spirit guides and ancestors are still hovering over these people. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah. I do feel like that. Um, this masculine does feel like it's good news. As far as them knowing that. They're not the father of the child. Mm -hmm. But because. Whoever this is. Is, is, is gone. Let's see. Why is this uh, RIP here, Spirit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know what they are doing. Guilty. Good news is coming to you, too, as well. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like that there was a showdown. Somebody was trying to have a showdown. Um, and I do feel like that it was against the masculine, possibly the divine feminine as well. But I feel like that because um, divine feminine didn't respond, I feel like that she is going to get some good news. And I feel like that it is uh, money. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the, the masculine energy is going to get some good news because there are some people that were trying to take this masculine energy out. Mm -hmm. But you're going to get some good news about... Um, this masculine energy because for some of you the masculine energy was trying to create some type of showdown to get you exit and for some of you your spirit guides are going to take this this masculine energy out and I'm not laughing but uh, basically they took themselves out when they came against you to plan and plot against you yeah because they chose the wrong path with this hidden agenda yeah they know what they're doing they're guilty Yeah, lurking around the corner. Who? Karmic Divine Masculine. Yeah, that done created a spiritual warfare. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, and they're in spiritual court. So that's why your spirit guides and ancestors are hovering over these people. So y'all, that has been the message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.